All right, hi everybody. In this video, we're going to learn how to make a sprite group follow a sprite. So in this demonstration, I have a sprite and, and this person is being followed around by four sprites. And I can change the friction amount of the sprite. And I can change the speed of the sprites. And the sprites don't stack up, they bounce off of each other. So let's see how this works in the code. Okay, so I've declared a number of global variables. Player sprite and the four animations for the player sprite. The ghost color and these square brackets have nothing in them. It, so I'm creating an empty array and I will put the image of each of the ghosts into this array. And I have the starting ghost X position and Y positions in separate arrays. So for the first ghost, ghost zero, in an array the first position is zero it's going to have an x position of 60 and a y position of 50 and the second ghost ghost one will have an x position of 60 and a y position of 400 and then i'm creating a variable for the ghost group and i'm setting the ghost speed for all the ghosts at two and the friction of the ghost at 0 0.5 i have one more a constant and that's the speed of two for the player sprite. So the player sprite will move two pixels at a time. Preload, I'm just loading each of the player animations for each direction. And then in the ghost color array, I'm loading an image in each of the positions. Zero, one, two, three. There's a different colored ghost image in each position in the ghost color array. Then I'm creating my canvas, creating my sliders. I'm not gonna go over that. That'll be a different video. Sprites, I'm just creating my player sprite in the middle of the screen width wise and height wise because I'm dividing them by two and the sprites are 30 pixels wide and 30 pixels high. I'm adding each of the direction animations to the sprite and now the ghost group will contain each of the four ghosts. So I'm creating the four ghosts with a for loop. The for loop will run 0, 1, 2, 3. It'll run four times. It's going to create the sprite. It's going to add the image to the sprite. It's going to set the friction of that sprite and then it's going to set the attraction point of that sprite. Where is that ghost going to go and how fast is it going to get there? And then it's going to add that ghost to the ghost group. And that's what these commands do. I'm creating a new ghost object create, and it's going to create the sprite. And then I'm adding the ghost image to this sprite and I'm naming it color and it's stored in the ghost color position. Whatever index that is, 0, 1, 2, 3, that's the one I'm adding for that sprite. And then I'm setting the ghost friction to the value of friction ghost that I declared in the global variables. And now I'm setting the attraction point for the ghost. Where is the ghost going to go and how fast is it going to get there? So it accepts three arguments, the speed, the X position, and the Y position of the target. How fast is it going to get there and where is the target? I set the speed at 0.1. The target is the player sprite, right? So we just got to use the player sprite X position and Y position. So that's what I did. Player sprite dot position X and player sprite dot position Y. That's where that ghost is going. Those coordinates at the start of the game. And then I'm adding that ghost to the ghosts group. Sliders function. I'm going to skip that. That's a different video. How to make slider. These are my joystick controls. That's in the change animations video. Check collisions. So I need to check collisions. Whenever the ghosts collide, they're going to bounce off of each other. And then in the draw function, I am using these RGB values to draw a brown background. And then I'm running the, the sliders function. So the sliders function will return the speed of the ghosts from the slider and the friction of the ghosts from the slider. And then I'm checking the collisions. I'm checking to see if any of the ghosts are colliding with each other. And if they are, they're going to bounce off of each other in that function. And I'm checking to see if any of the arrow keys are pressed so the position of the player sprite will move. And now I'm updating the friction and attraction points for the ghost sprites. And so I'm looping it again four times. I'm setting the friction value to the friction ghost value from the slider that the sliders function returned. Then I'm setting the new attraction point for each of these ghosts. Remember attraction point is where is it and how fast I'm getting there. So it's going this fast from the slider. It's using this value speed ghost from the slider. And then I'm updating the player sprite X position and the player sprite Y position. Where is the new target? Where is the new attraction point? And that's it. And that's how to make a group of sprites chase a sprite. 